Yes, sir. Right down there. Right there. Right there. So they say, how much they can't see me. Yes, sir. They say, just mention my name. And I think that uh, speaks for uh, uh, Mr. Hunter. <clears throat> Mr. Halfrain, uh, I have a package of information. It will take about the rest of the hour uh, if I want to introduce him. So what I'm going to do, just uh, highlight a couple of the things uh, which, have, uh, which uh, just to give you a glimpse uh, at this personality. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Lawrence Halprin uh, received his Bachelor of Science from Cornell University and Master of Science from University of Wisconsin and a BLA from Harvard University. He is a recipient of gold medal from American Society of Landscape Architecture, I mean Landscape Architects, and also another gold medal from American Institute of Architects for his distinguished achievements in allied professions. Is a fellow of American Society of Landscape Architects and also a fellow of American Academy of Arts and Science. And I can go on and on for another page or so. Uh, with regard to his recent uh, work, uh, uh, he had been responsible for the Franklin T. Roosevelt Memorial uh, in Washington, D.C. Uh, uh, he was commissioned by United States Congress uh, for this. Uh, do you have heard of his work in Seattle, Freeway Park, and Love Joy Plaza, which most all of you, I think, know well. Uh, he's author of se several books and films. Uh, uh, you are familiar with his uh, RSVP cycle, uh, Sketchbooks of Lawrence Hutlin, uh, The Process, which was published from Tokyo, Japan, uh, Taking Part, and his other books like Cities and Freeways. So, without uh, <coughs> wasting any more time, I would like to welcome uh, <coughs> Mr. Lawrence Hoplin this evening. I'm, uh, I'm really very glad to be here, uh, and I want you to know that uh, Linda, when she called and asked me to come, was very convincing. And now that I see her, I'm even more convinced. <laughs> 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 yeah, Red <right>, Sorry. <laughs> And I'm also very, very glad to be here in general to see, um, I, don't, I don't get to the Midwest very often. And uh, although I went to school in the Midwest and I had the honor of meeting my wife and marrying her in the Midwest, and so I have uh, historical connections to the mid Midwest. I don't, I mean, she's still my wife, but uh, it's still, it's, it's quite historical. The thing that Omar forgot to mention, one of my greatest honors, in fact, is that I, my wife and I have recently been made national treasures because we have been married 41 years. Oh and in this, I don't know about here in Midwest, but in California, that is the kind of unforeseen record that nobody, that nobody lives up to. She's okay. She's the reason is probably that we don't see each other wearing that anymore. Or on. That is. That is. Um, I thought a good deal about what I wanted to say tonight, and if you'll allow me, I would like to show you some slides which are exploratory in nature, really. I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm going to say about them. I have a general theme, and that is. I would like to explore with you tonight an issue that has become more and more important to me as I work in this vineyard, which is, uh, for me at all events, the field that I work in is a kind of a mixture of many, many fields, uh, which, but all of which are related somehow in a strange way to people's interaction 
with their environment. And I, want, I, I preamble it by that first part of it, which is people's interaction with their environment. It isn't only, my interest is not only to make places which it is, but it is also to make places which make people be creative inside of them. Do you follow that? And that's been something that has, right from the beginning of my career, been something that has interested me mightily. And I've done many projects which I think in and of themselves are beautiful, but because the people in them don't turn out to be so beautiful, I'm not sure any longer that they are as beautiful as they might be. And vice versa. I've done some things which I think in balance are probably slightly ugly, but because they make it possible for people to become interactively creative inside of them, I treasure them as some of the things that I like very much. And that's what I would like to talk about tonight. And some of this, I suspect, is somewhat influenced by the fact that I was married when I was very young, and my wife uh, is a dancer, a distinguished dancer, you perhaps know, and my daughter is a, one daughter is an anthropologist, and the other is a psychologist. If you mix all that up together, that's what I am, because of them, probably. And so I would like to talk about that tonight. Is that, is that okay with you? In the process, I may show you a few physical designs, but uh, now, I'm perfectly willing also to answer questions and would like to at the end of the lecture. During the lecture, I would perfectly, I'd like to answer questions which only re relate to facts, such as where is that place or something like that, but there'll be plenty of time at the end to ask the interact interactive questions, okay? Uh, my security blanket, please. I think you have. Oh, I start with this uh, because it seems to me that this is the normal state of the art these days, and uh, I'm sure that Michael Graves will have a different opinion of that when he comes here. And I. As a matter of fact, I think that there are some things going on in architecture today which are very important, and that is a dialogue about architecture. It's become, in a funny way, more and more intellectual and less and less emotional, and maybe that's okay. But I, sh I show that to start with because uh, it seems to me that there is a disastrous quality about this whole configuration which has started to inform our cities that the heroes of architecture are building higher and higher and putting more and more decorative things on the top of them and dealing less and less with the emotional quality of how people feel in them and in the cities. And so therefore, I want to go and talk about that issue because, in fact, of course, it's at this level that we tend to interact with architecture. That same series of places, this is one of them, actually, tends to look like this down at the ground more and more. Uh, lack of light, more and more traffic, more and more pollution, less and less what happens at the ground level of any interest. Banks are taking over the ground floor of most of our cities. And then we look to what happened out in the suburbs, and this, I suppose, at some time in the not too distant past would have been conceived of as beautiful, but in fact, it has the ultimate kind of sterility, and that is the sterility of beauty, I think, uh, or of good taste or something. Uh, this is, to my mind, the kind of trap that uh, both uh, city planning and architecture and landscape architecture has, in fact, at the other end of the scale from those other buildings that I showed you, uh, at ground level where everything is pretty and in place and, and it, it, it's decorative. And also it has tended uh, to drain away from the downtown areas of small towns, in fact, even of big towns, and destroyed the life and vigor uh, of the downtown area. So this, too, to me, it seems like equally as bad as the other one. And uh, this is the ultimate badness, it seems to me, um, where you might say that uh, interior design, landscape architecture, architecture, and um, what do they call those double knit suits? Uh, come together. Now, I should point out that there is always, in this kind of a place, a slight confusion. I believe those are mannequins, and this is not. Uh, 
but I'm not sure. And uh, I think that too may be somewhat revealed. Now, I'm going to shift because I want to get back to something where on an archetypal level we might try to start dealing with what it is that we're trying to do. And where if none of the things that we've just seen and you can all put into that mix the kind of things that you would put in. Uh, this summer, with the uh, anthropologist Ned Hall, do you know Edward T. Hall's work with the hidden language, uh, sound dimension, hidden language with sound dimension, went for two weeks of camping in, in uh, this country, where, in a sense, we were trying to get back to the core issues of what the environment and human relationship is. And then, uh, I suppose inevitably we ran into this, which is right at the edge of that. And we were horrified again. And, uh, but, and this is unfortunately at the edge of the Navajo country, uh, the other was Monument Valley, where the, the creeping blight uh, of, uh, of modern consumerism seems to be even inundating this wonderful landscape. But nearby, of course, going back in time, but perhaps more importantly, going back to qualities of human experience that are uh, universal and long lived, uh, we came upon Walti, which is in the second mesa. Uh, how many of you here have ever been in this country? Any of you? Well, then you know what I'm talking about, that quality of being up in a wonderful community uh, whose relationships and, uh, you know, you climb up and you go up to this place where on the top of the ridge it's hard to tell where architecture begins, religion leaves off, uh, and uh, dance and theater and have the, the closest we've ever come to the kind of dance and theater they have is opera, which of course is, is a poor example of it. And I show you these because here in this landscape, with this kind of architecture which becomes part of the landscape, uh, the tribal rites and rituals become so important that religion and value systems and ecology and water and how plants are grown and healing all become one. This is a diagram that I made on the site of how uh, the, uh, the reindeer, not the reindeer, the uh, deer tribe comes in and dance around and, and stamps on the whole, which is a, which is a, a portal to the netherworld where the important elements of religion occur. And this whole ritual with people standing around becomes incredible. And there's a drawing I did of the holding of the, the, holding of the snake. And here, here you see it in action, where the, uh, the people are dancing, the snake tribe. This is up in Chandrapodi, uh, Pueblo. Uh, the, the snakes are held, they're held in this fellow's mouth, and then his assistant goes alongside and holds the tail, and then so they come together, together and, mouth, they, right? <laughs> and they bring all the snakes down, and it, there's an incredible relationship yeah, you for you for of, and, okay. of animals and the people Michael here John do that. that uh, is hard to Didn't describe and it's very yeah. emotional in a very one good. sense. It is as if it? these people That's have great
and they were shouting back and forth. And they came up, hey, they seized corn, and they went down, and they beat us. And here, all of a sudden, that piece of architecture, that, that town, became a piece of theater. It's no longer a place of living, but a place of piece of theater. That's a backdrop for all the things that seemed important to them on a religious group. And they realized that. And that seems to me to say a lot. Yeah. About you go there after uh, this is another example. Yes, Dave and I think this is the well. uh, right The right other, right. as you know, yeah, is well, Hopi. Uh, this is the two bottles of water down yeah. in the uh, okay. Rio Grande University. Yeah. Where the same kind of thing very yeah. often yeah. happens. Yeah. happens. Yeah. There is a yeah. sacred mountain yeah. which yeah. they go up to the same way that I just described. Turn off for how much? Of rituals. 250 something that no, no, happens yeah. in many, 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 many different places. Yes. 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 The same yes. attitude yes. about yes. life and art yes. and yes. And these yes. places have been here. This is the old Pieces range. apartment house. Are you serious? If you want to call it that. In the western oh, area. Were they going to business? Uh, yeah. I heard some of these things. Yes. And I agree. This is well, like a so you very down the grain to touch them. Private and high conservative society. Oh, man, I would love you. And here's the same thing. Oh, it's just so old, actually. Which man. becomes center of dance, light, of the community, and the sense of someone is around the church. There's no 20 by 20 now. Look at all these signs. 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 But you'd make a lot of them. We all have a kind of a spiritual life, inner soul for life, which is beyond anything that we seem to be able to manage. Beyond the kind of religion that we have, it's a, I can't believe it, that's, that's uh, at least it's beyond the kind of religion that Still, I know. Uh, it's no integration it's it's all aspects of life that it seems to be touching something else. Did he and also there's the humor. This is yeah. after, after dance, we're going down into no, the, uh, the IU, he was a teacher. The team, but the men and women who were playing. Teacher the teacher there, and then he got out uh, came back with our little uh, yeah. games with each to other. Of course, yeah. Yeah. he's a registrar. So we're just all serious. And here's a bustle of dance right in the middle of their city. Not a shopping center. She rushed for about a year. I can see that. Not even, in a funny way, not even beautiful. He was a that's oh, awesome. teacher major. It's no, he's, he's a certified teacher. Awesome. He had a teacher. And that we not talk a little further. And this was a uh, evocative place for me. This is the Wendy Anasazi Indians. This is not a model, by the way. This is a real place. Uh, under a deep overhang, where these kind of cliffs well, you can really see built a lot of the very materials of their environment. They lived up here, and then their agriculture was out here, and they were great basket makers. And uh, they came out from those places and worshipped. They worshipped plants very often. There is a saying even today in the Navajo country that if you get up in the morning and say, Good morning. To you your grandfather, which is yeah, the, so it's, uh, the king of time, and then say also the same to your grandmother, who was the site of the doing his own work, uh, yeah. that you'll have a great right, day. Clients, it's making anybody else. And you will yeah, help. Us know, they you know, really have a empathy with plants and animals. That's worth another thing. Makes too much sense. I yeah. thought Skinner was just a photographer. And here, he of course, has working. Why is he teaching plants? Why would you teach plants? Using materials from the forest. Look up. Well, you know, some of the plants which predate by a long shot. Most people here don't have a teaching of your own psychoanalysis. We don't. But in many ways, related to it. A lot of my teaching writers. Ways the same. Bruce Myers, and this guy's doctor. With the participation in ancient tribal rituals. He sounds bad. They have the gone through for years. He's at home, but he spent a year of travels. People become healed by telling over and over again and universalizing the experiences that all people have. How young men go out to conquer evil spirits. This is a New York long, long nine days. He's a Tony King. Same school. Got into sand painting. In this place, so I going to his office, I that all this is what happened, or, no, all certificates on a modern level. Yes. And I keep on coming back to that, because it seems to me, I'll go through that again, this is the place that those sand paintings 
Harvard has a problem with the line of the color architecture. It's like some about design. And yet, at the edge of them, I think there was a graduate done in by a modern society dedicated to tourism and consumerism. This kind of relationship of architecture to that magnificent landscape, which is right over there, seems um, to destroy the very soul of that place. There are, however, still places which are attempting amongst the Indians Native Americans, there are places that are trying to recapture that. I show you this because, if I remember, I'm going to speak for a moment about Jerusalem, which is a place where this native landscape and the architecture, not only of individual buildings, but of an entire town, has become a place which is itself a model of what a person is, themselves are. Uh, let me see, I'm not saying that right now. What I'm, what I'm trying to get at is this. The people in Jerusalem, and there's Jerusalem that's in that landscape, which is a picture of this right out there. Here's the ancient city. There's the wall around it. There's the Mosque of Omar. There's the Western Wall. There's the Jewish Quarter, which I happen to have the honor of doing some uh, remodeling in right now. Uh, here is the Armenian court, here is the Christian court, and here is the Muslim court. Uh, in this incredible place, people and the city itself have become inspired to the extent that they think of themselves as one being the other. That's the old statement, if I forget the old one, I'm going to write it. Yeah, it's cunning. Zion, Israel, and Jerusalem are the same thing. It's one of those forms. Empathy and transfiguration, where architecture and town planning and people could become the same thing, which is something that is remarkable to experience. And there is the gateway to the city, built over the age of And here, one of those things which speaks to humanity is a place, it's a an ancient ritual <laughs> that uh, yes. the Romans yeah. and many other societies yeah, have yeah, and that is that when a city was built, and it it remember, when a city became a certain size, and those days they used to break off and not create a new suburb, yeah, and, and not do a shopping center off of the outside, see, yeah, destroy yeah, the center of town. Here, they sent out, you, as if they were sending out children yeah. to found a new city. And so the, the head priest or the head general depended on who was the king. They plowed a furrow around the city and then at the gate they lifted it up on his shoulders and walked across where the gate was and then dropped it again. So the furrow delineated the edge of the city and then they sacrificed and built a tiny city which still remained. I don't know what he, I was uh, there, and which has church, the quality yeah. of being in your own house. It's not just a church. You're out in the same city as you walk yeah. around, you yeah. are in your own living room. It does. Uh, you sense it as you go around. It's, it's not extraneous to you. It's part of you. Uh, there is not, there is not, there is not a downtown and a living quarter and shops and banks and all those things exist. But as you move around through it, you sense almost that you and it become the same thing. And they, you inform each other and you make each other at large. Even walking around no, on the no, edges of the city on that ancient no. wall, which I'm looking I down from, yeah, where there four, is four, a four, walkway four, all around the city, you too get a sense of this incredible relationship between the parts of the city. Except that ass, first of all, as an art credit. I don't know if there's an architecture school, there are some special places. And the stones are such places, and only except the one that they want to have. The history of people. The interesting thing, of course, is that the most ancient of the stones are the biggest, uh, and then the most recent are the smallest, and it ought to be the other way around because of the technology, although they say that the reason was that there were slaves in those days and they could handle big stones, but that isn't the only thing. I think there was a consuming desire, I think, in the past to slowly build things rather than hurriedly, and that we thing that you did had a very important part in the structure of your life. But anyway, this is a more recent uh, 
is what I was trying to write yeah. about in the RSVP cycles and what, what I've been trying to explore. And that is project the issue yeah. of how can South we sensitize South ourselves South to the things in the wood. environment yeah. that yeah. make uh, make us richer as human uh, beings, uh, and in fact, our relationships with each other. And um, that drawing uh, was meant to be a kind of diagram about a workshop process that I've been trying to work with for many years, where young people or older people can in groups become sensitized and aware through schools to the environment and some of the things that are there in space and time that if they don't have enough time to relate to it, and wipe out our considerations of intellect and, and uh, analysis and deal with it on a one-to-one emotional level, we can often get that attitude which uh, as so people, people and as designers no, we have to get at the core of what design yeah. and here's our relationships to it and to each other might in fact be. Here's a group yeah. of students, they get a graduate students in fact at the University of California in Berkeley, which uh, really who came with me and spent two weeks together up in Pulaski, California. A number of years ago, where we started with breaking down the school Well, uh, 
uh, one of the slides won't go down apparently. Can you get that one to drop down? Because it is there. It is the same for the same reason as this Torrey King, which is opening out at the mainland <coughs> in uh, Japan. And these great tryptum areas, of course, are like redwood trees. That and this are so similar and do the same thing. This was a very interesting workshop process for this young woman who so built for sure this perfectly. little enclosed environment. And she sat there in that wind for quite a long while. And then gradually, the water came in and washed it down. And there she was, sitting at the edge of the sea, in what had been a very secure place that she had built as evocative of how she was feeling. And then the sea came and destroyed her. And then she said, that is what happened. And that's what happened to me in the last few days with my marriage. And it was a very, very sad but at the same time, wonderful moment because she was, in a sense, acting out a Jungian, if you will, uh, Jungian expression through an environmental design of a dreamlike state that she had gotten into uh, without knowing it. I, I suspect, I'm sure that she didn't expect it to be destroyed. Yeah. So. I bring this in because I want to speak for a moment about death and life. In those workshops that we looked at, uh, these huh? death symbols, which you see here in Egypt, became a subject also for an environment where in the workshop, the young people in the workshop were asked in an this environment up the coast of the Sea Ranch to find a place which they wanted to evoke the qualities of when they died and also to find a different place, well, the same one, uh, a place where they would live. So if you follow that, they were, they, they were evoking and designing selected places in this environment, one for a place that they would like to live in and the other that they would like to be in after their death. It, uh, it, it was a form of what the Chinese call feng sui, which is a geomancy of finding places which are appropriate and are influenced by the moon and the tides and all the universal forces outside ourselves and outside our planet, even, and to try to connect to that. You all know about Feng Shui, where in China and other places there are people who are geomancy experts who will tell you because of all the forces that are going on on a site, not site plans, uh, not landscape architecture, not, uh, not analysis, but dealing with spiritual qualities of the site, and also the forces of wind and sun and planets, how you should face your house or building, and how you should not uh, so say this is that. that. It's, it's, it's like a phrase of water. It has to do with the total which gets out of place. Well, here they were doing the same thing and trying it out. And it was very interesting because I found at the end of my chair that most of the people in this workshop spent most of their time dealing with where they were going to die and the rest of their time in a death situation rather than where they were going to live. And that was the most interesting thing that I found in the process. Especially for us, this is where I was dealing with in that place so where you would like to spend the time after your death. Linda Very emotional experience for many of them. Here they were sharing. Uh, you can see by the intensity of the expression, the impact of this attitude all of a sudden about the sighting of a place and the nature of the place, which transcended functional beings and went to the core of spiritual relationships. That became much more significant to them than the actual functional of its full of the site. There's a drawing that one of the people made. Sorry, Jerry. That was a high rounded hillside, but it might be a limitless horizon in the sun setting rays. That's one, and here's another. This is the light spot perched at the edge of the sea with the horizon in this incredible triangular form. Uh, which is, as a form of geometry, so important to most of us as a, uh, as a universal form. I think the next slide is in the next carousel, if you'll put that on. 
Can you hear me up there? What's his name? Come on, Dave, you're sleeping. Dave. So, <laughs> he getting at this in this right. way, it seems to me that some of the issues that uh, I confronted in studying the uh, relationships that more primitive peoples have to their yeah, environment and right how they live could be, in fact, no. revealed to us through this yeah, process I mean, of yeah. not not starting sure. always I mean, with a physical so analysis and a market analysis and a greater quality of, um, of traffic, all well, of which are important to us, but to get this is more more issues in each really important situation well, where through this process we could devise the values that we wanted to infuse a place with and what it was telling us about itself. And uh, that well, this could help me at all events, yeah, and I found that it had going to Mexico. workshops that I've held really? a lot of other people have seen this way of approaching yeah. yeah. it. You guys could find it. And oh, in a way, like, this is what I try to do with CMAX. It's in the middle uh, class. It's true that go to these high class places. That, uh, I did logical analyses and physiological analysis for high class places. But more importantly, I spent a lot of time thinking about what I've just described the wind studies. You guys, in the like most uh, emergents there, they'll have a did do this price, but you can but get it. Perhaps like more importantly, some, some of you yeah, wish yeah, after yeah, this lecture or in the days ahead, it was, but uh, can go into the silver. next room where the gallery is, and there are some of these rooms <coughs> uh, <coughs> uh, where I try yeah, to with deal the, with the, na with the, the natural there. landscape, I guess the wind, the tides, the pulp, the sub beds, the mussels, places where the cormorants nested to wave a pattern of flying out into the wind, the cormorants go through the seals and how they raise the children. All of these, not only natural conditions in the life habitat, but how it could affect me spiritually and emotionally. And then I devise a scheme which had to do with a lot of those characteristics that we've just talked about and try to find in my own way, ways of physically evoking these qualities in the people and in the gardens and in the architecture that we built there. We found, of course, some simple ideas, and that is to leave the ocean front open so that everybody could contact it. The idea of clustering, which could be done in linear clusters or clusters of buildings that were connected to each other. Plane fares are pretty cheap now. You get a ground trip and you the continental United States put together into one big building with holes in it. And it's like time for us moving a lot of the land open and making it possible for everybody to connect with the land and not to Right now it's supposed to be like a turn on your own. One of those clusters where there's a very famous more tourism. It's a value of the American dollar. Yeah. They invest all their money in the oil.
Sometimes I can't agree with the ego, I guess I can't. Sense that they read but, you know, what I'm wearing, I say that's what I'm wearing. I'll say, you know, I'm wearing. I think I would say that. Well, well, she didn't know what we were doing. I probably just hit the room. Or when we went to a church, she didn't know what we were doing. To where? The church. That's what I like to do. I really would. Look like I saw a hard cart with you. We've noticed over and over again a remarkable thing. That is, that I've noticed because of being at the office, that is that they generate already. She just thought she was going to hard drive. It's up there for all the time. And you're there. Time and time again, a kind of similarity of response. And of course, they had it for the next place. Right here, for example, is constantly used in every event by couples. Well, Mexico's related to the AT bands. It's got a lot of compressed history. Oh, definitely. It has to do with itself. This is called the Lion's Rock, where often a kind of uh, there are a lot of there's domineering person. Uh, you know, I would wear the two bananas out here. I'd stay a little bit more. I've learned so much myself about the fact. Well, always too, like the coastlines are real hot. Given the chance, because the sea is dripping the mountains, and the same thing is the same year round. And gender, there's a lot like it. I'll solve it. I'll tell you what, if you're trying to take that over, we're just going to have a universal character because they have a chance to know that. And that seems to mean to me that there are universal interactions between us and our environment uh, that are constant and not frivolous or decorative. If we make places that have that same kind of evocation of people, we will be tapping. I think I know what you're talking about. I keep on. I don't know what you're saying. Uh, these desires and attitudes that are, uh, that are profound. Yeah, it's kind of close. Structures, whatever. I've heard a lot of There's all kinds of people over there. 
Because I, I got a letter of turning over a piece of wood nail like form, which seems he's kind of one that cut the props off the open roof. They got good hands coming in. He's got one in the eye. He's still wet. Send your mind. Chicks get up there and take it all. I've got pictures. 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 i have got pictures i have got pictures i have got pictures i have is my oldest material there? Surfing apartments? Or or like on. efficiency apartments? All the things that seem that people call it. wish to and have. And it's a big place to have the board of the And last night we got down there to see for the students. Yeah. Yeah. And, and there, the, there, the next day, in uh, my studio, we heard about the, you know, they all sat down and on a great piece of paper, they had a drawing of this. Second night, and they always, okay, during the day, they had a request to go outside the pool, which is right scale, and they didn't use the scale. They played the West Music on the outspeaker outside two hours. The music one. And uh, every five minutes, I would say, uh, and that's remarkable. Next, like next three yeah. people to the Syracuse office will get a Which free frisbee, free t-shirt, and like here, that. Here, you're doing the same kind of a place. And uh, then the next the day we there, they had a hot dog, mini roast, and all these games, shuffle for the world, frisbee for the world, and utilizing the place. And they had a wet t-shirt contest the day after that. Wonderful. And then they had a mail wet t-shirt contest, too. Oh, I found also that girls out there down and they, they used to take them all and take them and wear it all. Did they own that? They got the architects. Well, they got the first one. They haven't done it by that I include myself. They don't strip up. They're just going to make an incredible place. They don't notice that it's like some postmodern architecture. Are there a lot of people that girls go out there? I just go out there at midnight and get out. I'm about to go out there. 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 You know where Marco Island is? Make it come alive. Is that the key? Yeah, the, the two things that happen. I don't know how far south it is. <coughs> the great uh, thing that happens in the primitive it's places. It's got to be around the key somewhere. Yes, yeah, people, people that stay, people stay, stay with. They don't come down there. So we might go there. They might tell us that we could use their time and go down and be a little while. Real nice. You know, I've never been. Is that on the golf? That's not on the golf side. That's on the east coast, though, right? You know, I remember. Because when I went, that was here. I never, I went to the ocean once and it was like, Chesapeake Bay, and I was one of those little kids. I never got in the water, and then uh, the spiral. Daytona Beach was nice, but the water was real rough. You know, it's kind of rough. Yeah, it was kind of rough. As any of you seen any of these? Oh, I saw that. In Ohio. Been there many times. And I use anyway, the same kind of configuration um, in an early sketch for a Holocaust memorial, which I want to see. You're not interested. And for all the same reasons. Oh, so the which you'll remember from that early dance at Zoom Depot, where they put the snakes in the underground caverns where the priests were, but he can talk as some lot. universal character. I'm getting towards the end, I think. He's getting towards the end. What's that? Two more minutes, perhaps. Two more minutes? Oh, very good shape. This whole attitude can be applied. I want to show you a small town. Well, oh, anyway, I would like to I want to be on the golf. I've never been on the golf side of the ocean. Where the people decided that the town was going to grow, and they wanted to have some way of themselves deciding how to grow. And so they asked me to do a workshop with them, which I did, according to the RSVP sign. Without the starting with the awareness walks. And I'm saying this because I, I guess in a, in a way I'm trying to say to you that these abstract ideas that I've been talking about have a very pragmatic and practical, practical set of applications. That it is not just theory, and it is not just soft-headed poetry, if you want to say it that way, but that cards tapping into people's real inherent needs can be applied in real-life situations if they are willing to do it and use more and more and more. And this group Plus went out, looked at places, yeah. came back into their downtown community yeah. center, yeah. That's true. worked yeah. sure together, to drawing things yeah. that they wanted yeah. to have books. happen, and things that they didn't like. Elders yeah. and uh, you young people surfing? alike. No, I like it. Oh, you can my friends got two boards as a bartender or two years. Wake up. You can go windsurfing. You don't have to be necessarily in the ocean. And we went windsurfing even little fella. Guys, a couple times in this one lane. And then the most interesting thing is that they realized this took several days. 
uh, at several weeks, and they realized somewhere along the line that there were a series of alternatives, as might have been expected, but uh, they, and that in thinking about them, it was important to show and share with each other what so the implications of the alternatives were. Like, for example, with its real estate growth, <laughs> suburbanized, so shopping so center, so as so against uh, uh, non-real estate growth, no cost housing, I'm just personally excited to remember all the things. Was it pretty rough, though? I mean, redeveloping the downtown area instead of going outside and doing something. And then they said, but if we make drawings of this, nobody's going to understand it. So the local theater and the plays that exemplified what was going to happen with each one of these master plan ideas. And then people understood every word of it. And it was art, creating art. You get a 15-foot vote that cost just as much as a car. That was the last vote, which I think was the right yeah, one was to have a freeway bypass the town, to have slow, speed out, and so on and on. All based on this series yeah. of yeah. Those are more and expensive. you understand this play as being a way of portraying a massive plan. And this isn't the same place, but the same thing happened here. This may be a little bit like when see with less of the with less of the seeds knocked out. And uh anyway, same thing happened. So uh, there was a good reason for this. I'm not always like Jerry felt the favor of balls, but this is what happened. I'm looking like this just kind of hard to tell. There's a there's a really right there. And uh, I could show you more of it. It uh, has a, some little plazas. It's, it's hometown. This actually is in Charlottesville, Virginia. It's the hometown of Thomas Jefferson. There's plenty of parking on both sides of the street. I'm not always personally. I don't want to reply, but I think it's a good idea to close down down streets all the time because I don't know. Uh, but these people wanted it. It came about through their through their workshop. Uh, the downtown had lost a lot of business and population of the shopping centers in the suburbs and was half empty. When this was finished, it became 150%. How many guys do you Sounds better, 150% empty. <laughs> but oh, yeah. it's it right? people started no. living up across the store. Where is this? Jasper, that's a cracking down the road. These places what, 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 then, what, 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 just what, 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 to say again the in a modern sense, these places become alive uh, because if yeah, they are a vehicle for things to happen in them, for places, for festivals in big cities like Manhattan. Same, Johnson, same, same, uh, same uh, see that book, in the left. Uh, this is the St. Gennaro same Parade and, 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 and Wonderful Fair. Do it. Uh, it can happen everywhere. There, there you go. Archetypal and he likes to go away. The biology as well as the emotion of 
amounts to steam, and all kinds of things now happen here. And the, the, the family of this company, this family, yeah. is it? He doesn't write into it. He does a like a suburb. He like concerts, all kinds of rock and roll. So it's actually closer to Oakland than it is San Francisco. But it's all the same. The workers are out there in the daytime. As against that high-rise building, which seemed not, not a bad building in its design, but not related to these yeah, kinds of needs. Everybody has the name. nicest so thing that happened to me the other day is somebody yeah, said yeah. to me, uh, yeah, thank you for bringing yeah. the dragonflies yeah. back. <laughs> now, that was a symbolic yeah. set of statement. Yeah. Not an yeah. one. I think there are. But the idea that here, yeah. in this very yeah. place, yeah. in the form of the city, uh, we can devise yeah. places yeah. which will have meaning and which are not visual, yeah. visual only, but yeah. to show that. To some of these yeah. elements are important. And uh, here, even this design, symbolically, as a gateway to the city, we can think of these symbols at all kinds of scales. They don't have to be small in scale. That would be the I drive no, I'm in and as I drive back, they kind of an entry
get an attitude or be a very positive thinker. Everybody else can feel comfortable. He's not much of a go getter. That's what I learned out of it. Was came out of that workshop. No, not really. Uh, I know that you know there are all kinds of criteria of how high wash basins should be and all this, that, and the other thing. And uh, I think it's all helpful. Ultimately, I think that it's the way you do it that uh, counts more than, than that. So I don't. I didn't end up with any criteria. There were well, about some things that I felt right red faced about, and that is that there was some very wonderful guys, a pavements a that were uh, very rough yeah. because I had done my professional there used to be a uh, lake like you made the engine ship foot as people walk. And yeah, some of the people oh, that's right. 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 all they said was if you uh, just put a little warm place next to it, we could have gotten there. So that in that sense I learned about uh Thank you for black bounds that I should too. Thank you. <coughs> Any other questions? Oh, Brian. That's in my butter. Yeah. He's a pretty nice guy though. He looks like say he's hard worker too. Yeah, I have to look at it. I'm very good. Good worker. Yeah. There's your favorite time. Oh, is this Connie asking the question? In the workshop or after the workshop? Put the man out there. Who is that? It'll light swine library. Um, I've never been in there. I don't know. It's probably by a quarter, so I like to look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Students have to decide to make some of them. They have their own slide presentations for. They what? They have to set up their own slide presentations sometimes. They check them out from her, they have to shoot their own. I think the honest answer would be. They can check them out through her, shoot their own. They have to make their own presentations. 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 They but that in the gross sense, I don't think I have ever run into one of my size, the color means that. I thought know, chrome meant color. I did a workshop in Fort Worth many years ago, in which a master plan in the city emerged. Oh, yeah. And then I was asked to come back a couple of months ago to uh, talk with them about what had happened in those 10 years and reevaluate it. Like On the whole, the workshop did all the right things. And he plays in balance. No, he plays in alcohol. Uh, but there were some oh, things that alcohol. the workshop didn't think about. Frost or grill. Didn't think about or got the thing on up the podium. So that would be the answer. Yeah, but it's it took down in the corner. Do you want some? Yeah, it kind of stops. Oh. Like, hook it over here. No, he's got it hooked over here, guys. Oh, you mean he's got it stuck? Yeah, because he walked back there and he's. Keep this game. You said after blood. Who? Sure. No, no. I would, I would say, I think workshops. She can look good like someday. That, someday she's going to look bad. Someday she got to be old like uh, like, yeah. like any therapy. I think that sometimes um, dealing with the symptoms with the dealing with the causes and therefore you might end up with something which wasn't quite the other, and that's okay. Because you would agree with me. I would agree with that.
where we thought those were wonderful. But this is what you the did. fact that we were all together yeah, and talking this. about it and communicating. Switch up, switch up for the change. You know, in, a good, way, in a creative way, not to be always way. been bad with uh, judging distances. We've always been told this is six inches. <laughs> I think what the question is was, let me see if I can repeat the question because I'm not sure of myself. The question is, was there a turning point in my career that led me to this attitude? This attitude was it my wife, my daughters, and so on? Well, it was sure in hell not the men in my life, I can tell you that. Did you just burn someone? Did you just burn someone? Uh, must have been Vincent since I, I think I think a lot of it has to do with that. Um, yeah. Here, Vincent gets kind of around and tries to make moves on some guys. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I, I think it would get too involved for me to articulate exactly. And I'm, I'm not quite sure. But a lot of it has to do with this. Thank you, Vincent. But he commutes every Searching for ways. He's probably got a sweeping room through the week. I, my attitude changed during the 60s, was, 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 which was both a great period and a lot of us there. there. And, uh, there were a lot of very good ones in that period. And a lot of bad things that were off of us and drugs and all that. He gets all bent out of shape for me. Yeah, a lot of bad things that were off of us and drugs and all that. He gets all bent out of shape for me. Yeah, there's three guys. He was thinking of human relationships. Gratitude. Well, I was getting myself involved. He's got a I, well, I think that off the turf goes to my wife. He's yes, my children were growing up and we're going through the same thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Except with the girl with the dark hair. Uh, and, uh, she's pretty nice. Uh, she's not bad. I think all of that. I'm sitting there playing hands. He looks like he's in the intro with his lips. He's jealous. Yes and no. The no is for all the good things, and the yes is for all the bad things. <laughs> no, I don't know. I think I think perhaps I somebody else will have to figure that one out. I know this though that.
And so if I have any weddings with the young weddings that I would really like you to get them brought up as leading towards it's that attitude rather than a particularized design. This last month's last one thing. How many pictures did you take? I don't know, a little over 100. It's, it's What's the biggest camera? slide or the uh, mm -hmm. film you can get? I mean, to put into the camera. How many? You get 25 exposures. Well, these 36. The first thing I would say is I'm going to go back to what I was get. trying to say here. The first thing is to, is to get at yourself, I think. 10, 15, 16. What's the on the format? Of getting a, a and get larger. yourself sensitized. Do enlargements, big enlargements. Oh, okay. To get Better more definition. Okay. And, you know, in a profound sense of background Plus, of the flash, you got so you can sink at any shutter speed. You can come into it as a vehicle. You can sink at any shutter speed with these. You have to shoot like a sixteenth of a second. Speed. Those you can shoot. Not as a, at any not shutter as a speed. preconception. And then, if you can come into a place as a vehicle, not at preconception, and stand there and, and absorb it. And interact with it in spiritual as well as other ways. Uh, then I think you're well on the way. That's how I know what you said. Said that's the base philosophy should be about it. I think it's like making love. <laughs> that's the best preparation. Bow your head. You see your bow your head? Okay. <laughs> Who's this cat in a gray suit? Thank you very much. Who do you do? That's a standard. Who do you want to tell about this one? Just thinking about a ship now. Jim has an important announcement for you. For you? Yeah, uh, the student chapter of the American Society of Landscape Architects, in um, conjunction with the college, is sponsoring a post-lecture gathering at the Kitsman Center to further discussion and questions here with Mr. Halperin. Um, does everybody know where the Kitsman Center is? Well, tough, no. Um, it's, from what I understand, it, it's like a new experience for me too. I've never been honored before. Like you go straight out university and you cross over Tillotson, you go about a block until you get to a field, and, just kinda, and then you're there, that's it. And then uh, when you loop around that, is that about two blocks? It's to the right and keep going straight and you come to a big gate and that's... Oh, and then you go through the gate and you see it. You can't miss it? Is that it? All right. So, and then, uh, you know, we're, we're looking forward to seeing everybody out there. I know there's faces from out of town and some of the spring quarter people, so come on out. If I were going to school, I'd be the first post smack. It's for sure. This would look There's a sign that says Kitzelman Center. Come on. 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 Thanks, Jerry.